Hey guys, this is Chris from BC Gaming, and if you guys didn't see the last video on how to make a Minecraft server vanilla, that means no mods and with a marchie. Um, that bit, that basically, this tutorial just basically way more improved. Um, it's gonna be with mods, and people can join it without Hamachi. And if you don't know, guys, what Hamachi is, you can check out the last video. Um, basically, it's uh, let me just give you a brief demonstration. It's a brief group port like server. So people have to join your group in order to like join your Minecraft server. And if you wanted your server to be bigger or like more public, Hamachi is not recommended. Well, for me. And guys, um, Bucket just lets you have mods and makes your um server look like. Like pro is like very uh, professional. So if you guys want to do this tutorial, then join with me. First, you go on to open Google Chrome or your favorite internet browser, and type in bucket.org, and click, scroll down, and click download recommended build, and press OK. And once you've downloaded that, you're going to go to create a new a folder. Um, so this is the other tutorial that's Minecraft on the vanilla server here, but the bucket one is in this folder. So you guys, you're gonna make a new folder, name it whatever you like, just something to remind you, and drag the craft bucket dot jar in there, and you would like to rename it just to craft bucket it's a bit easier b u double k i t you have to write it exactly like that and it next you're going to create a new text document and copy this text so if you guys have 32 or 64 just um just copy this and if you have Java 7, you copy this. I have Java 7, so I'm going to copy this. This will be in the description, so you don't need to pause the video and copy it. And paste that text into your text document and save it as a start.back. And you do that by clicking all files, naming it start.bat. Make sure it's B-A-T. Click save and now you should have a bat file like that. You can delete that, that now. And once that's done, you're going to double click craft bucket and all the files should, should be generated. Let's just see. Yep, so everything here is generated now. You have the plugins folder. Me and my friend will make a series soon about that later, so guys, don't worry. Uh, everything basic is there. So, guy. Um. So now the hard part. You guys are going to type in your search for CMD and click enter. It should be, take you to command prompt. And once you've done that, type in IP config. Press enter. And remember the default gateway. Open up the internet browser and type in the default gateway, so 10 point whatever. And open a new tab in Google and type and also type in portforward.com and click the first link. So once you're on portforward.com you're going to scroll down and find your let's say your modem so mine is Thompson TG whatever the letters are so you're going to find that here which is for me it's down here and gonna skip this advertisement and scroll down and find in the M section here Minecraft server and once you've done that, you're going to follow the instructions here on how to port forward your port for Minecraft. Um, it will be different for every modem. So I have the Thompson one. 
for me, I just go toolbox, then game and sharing application, then I just basically follow the instructions here. Um, once you've port forwarded, that's pretty much the hard part done. So you go into exit from that, and and once you're in the command prompt from before, rem um, remember the IP version 4 address, so I can remember that, close that, go to your Minecraft folder again, and go to your server properties, the most important part of your server. So once you're here, go to your server IP and type in the version 4 IP you found in the command prompt. And you're going to switch online mode to false if your friends have the cracked Minecraft. Most of my friends do, so I'll just stick it to that. Max players up to 15 maybe. Um, spawn monsters true. PvP I'll just set to false just for the tutorial. And you guys should be done save it and you could what else do you need to do on oh, blank but guys um the last thing you need to do is go to a site called whatismyip.com or you could click the description and copy and the IP you see here is the IP you're going to give to all your friends so you can they can join your Minecraft server so just to prove it works I'm gonna copy that start your server up by clicking start.bat it should be no errors at all and it's done so I'm gonna exit that and log into my Minecraft just quickly So log into your Minecraft and go to your multiplayer. Multiplayer and there's your server. To add your version 4 IP here or you can enter your external IP from whatismyip.com and enter. As you can see here This is your Minecraft server, and the first time you join blocks, like so, to fix that, you're going to go to your command prompt and type in op, and then your username, mine's chrissy07, and you should say you're now op, now you can break A bit laggy because my recorder is a bit heavy but guys that's how you make a minecraft server and you will be seeing how to uh, put enter or put plugins into your minecraft server this series will be coming very shortly so don't worry all the links will be in the description on how to make this and the steps maybe and that's how you make a Minecraft server. Port forwarded, no Hamachi, and with, with um, mods that will be coming soon. So, guys, that's how you make a Minecraft server. This is Chris from BC Gaming uh, signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next series on uh, bucket plugin tutorials. Okay, guys. Peace.